Welcome to class, everyone. Today we are going to be talking about the midpoint formula. But before we get into that, let's review what we learned last time. Now, can anyone tell me what the Pythagorean theorem is? Bobby? Mr. Smithson, is it alright if I turn in my homework tomorrow? I left it at home. Sure, but you won't get full credit. Come on, Mr. Smithson. I spent an hour trying to get all the answers. Thanks again. No, you still won't get full credit. Now, does anyone know what the Pythagorean theorem is? Oh, it's anyone? for right triangles, and it's... You now, and, right. and don't talk until I pick on you. Uh, Trent, how about you? Can you give us the answer? Sorry, what was the question? What is the Pythagorean theorem? Oh, I know this one. Uh, see, it has something to do with this guy named Pythagoras, right? And he thought up this uh, really smart thing about math. Yes, and what was that thing he thought up? Well, th th that's, that's the part I'm kind of fuzzy on. Uh, it had something to do with snakes, right? Where they try and kill you? The big snake. And the snake, it, it kills you. And, like, math. No, that, that's, that's not right. Um, Hannah, can you give us the answer? Oh, I'm sorry, what was the question? What is the Pythagorean theorem? Could you maybe phrase that a little differently? I'm not entirely sure what you mean. Well, if my wording was confusing for you, let's see if this jogs your memory. <clears throat> a squared plus b squared equals... c squared! Z squared. No, but close. Z cubed. Please, Mr. Smithson, let I me answer. If you talk out of turn again, I'll give you a conduct report. Hannah? Z to the 16th. No, it doesn't have anything to do with a Z. Hey, uh, Mr. Smithson. Yes, Bobby? I was wondering if you could still give me full credit if I were to send a picture of my homework right once I get home. We can talk about that later, but let's focus on the question at hand. Do you know what comes next? No, sir. How about Y squared? No, Hannah, that's not right either. Now, does anyone in this class actually know anything? Or can you only count on your fingers like Bobo the Ape? Hey, isn't Bobo the Ape really smart? I think he's trying to compliment us. <laughs> Bobo the Ape can actually do math. Nor does he know what Pythagorean's theorem is. He can't even speak. Didn't they teach Bobo sign language? Sign language is not the same. Now, I know you all just copy Evan's homework. <laughs> <laughs> that is not <laughs> true! I'm just stabbing. I can't believe what you're saying. I worked hard on this assignment. I had to wait two hours for Evan to respond. How did he do that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slim scrap of knowledge about the most important thing we covered. Uh, Mr. Smithson, can we still get full credit though? No, no, no Bobby, you can't. I don't think it's too much to ask for you to be diligent students, for you to actually do your work and turn it in on time, and for you to learn the material I'm presenting in class. If you don't learn to be diligent now, you'll never survive in the real world. You all get zeros on this assignment for oh, wait, how can you? And I'll give you a little dose of how the real world works. It's class dismissed. This is so not fair! I'm gonna tell my parents and, and you're gonna hear from them! Come on, Mr. Smithson, I need an A in this class. If I don't get an A, my parents are gonna kill me. Literally. My mom's been sharpening a knife ever since she got my last report card. I'm sure they're not serious. Okay. Well, I think I'll give you a pass just this once, but I might recommend calling Child Protection Services. Thanks, Mr. Smithson. All right. Well, I should probably start getting that test they took two months ago. But the Big Bay Theory is not going to watch itself. <laughs> now, we're going to find out what this mystery value is. Because it's the most important part of the problem. Okay? Now watch carefully. This is you. You are part of the problem now. Okay? I'm sick of this. I'm out.